Well, today we're back to offshore Northwest Shelf, Australia, and we're going to look at the Sassanoff and Kanga wells. The first of these, the Sassanoff, is located here down on the Exmouth Plateau, the western side of the Carnarvon Basin. Uh, you can see it uh, just sneaking onto the, uh, the the corner of this particular map. Northwest Shelf has had an awful lot of success and lots of very major uh, gas developments and uh, LNG. And this map here shows uh, some of the infrastructure from the Wheatstone gas plant at, down by Onslow, the Gorgon gas plant on Barrow Island, and then the Pluto, the Northwest Shelf gas plant at Dampier. And we'll come back and talk about this a little bit later. But you can see some of these major fields offshore and the plans that they have for putting in place uh, an interconnector, a gas gathering system, which goes all the way out and aids with the development of the Scarborough field here. We're going to have a look at Sassanoff, which is uh, located here at the sort of southwest corner of these Exmouth fields. Other thing to say here, well, here's the map showing where we are just on that northwest corner of Australia. And, um, yeah, there's been a lot of developments of um, gas and LNG terminals. And you can see that the uh, various plants have, have ramped up and plateaued uh, over, over the last few years. So looking in a little bit more detail, here is Sassanoff here in WA519P. And a huge feature... Uh, I mean, Io Jantz up here in Scarborough, also very, very big features. But what we can see, here's uh, 11 gas discoveries, which are known as the sort of the Equus project. In total, around about 2 TCF of gas, and all of this gas is pretty much stranded. Now, here's the entry we have in Trove for these fields. And uh, indeed, for the Mentork here, um, we've got a lot of information within the, the Trove uh, database. So there's a bunch of stranded fields, and Sassanoff is looks to be quite a big opportunity. The well uh, has sputtered at the end of May 2022. Um, Western Gas are the operator. It could be that uh, if Sassanoff is successful then there could be a, a number of these fields developed and tied back to a, a hub at Sassanoff. This is what uh, Sassanoff looks like on a, on a seismic amplitude map. This is at the uh, Barrow Group, which is uh, in the Cretaceous. Um, it's a large feature. You can see that uh, there was uh, an amplitude here uh, at Mentork. Uh, you can see it uh, here in this cross section, but uh, just slightly missing it, I think, at this deeper horizon. But what you can see is that certainly there's a, there's a major anomaly um, really brightens on this region here and it's felt that these are uh, these are indeed gas sands so the prospective resource for Sassanoff around about 7.2 trillion cubic feet of gas in place and up to 175 million barrels of condensate um, if successful so the well is going to be spudded here it's in a water depth of just over a thousand meters and it's a sort of combination trap so uh, here you can see there is a, there's a fault on the uh, the western end of it here. It's reservoired in the uh, the lower Barrow Group sandstones. There is a 35% chance of success. Um, so in other words, there's a 65% chance that this well won't work. But, um, you know, it's going to be drilled or it is drilling and uh, we'll find out that the major risk is considered to be a uh, seal. So this is what the Sassanoff um, entry in Trove is. And you can see even pre-spud, we have a huge amount of information on this particular asset. If we look in the area, well, we've got the Scarborough just to the north-northwest of uh, Sassanoff. And, and Scarborough is now being uh, developed by Woodside. It's got a, a gas in, initially in place of about 11 TCF. Uh, it's fairly well appraised. And it's in, again, not far off um, the 1,000 metre water depth with a plan for 79 development wells um, tied to a, a semi-submersible floating production unit. There then plans to be a 430 kilometre pipeline back to the Burrup Head LNG terminal. Here is uh, another entry out of Trove, this time it's for the, the Scarborough field. Jan's Io, a huge field with some uh, 22 trillion cubic feet of gas initially in place. So um, the water depth here is slightly deeper, around about 1,350 metres. Um, a two-phase development with uh, 10 and 5 development wells in each. Uh, there will be producers. And it's likely that uh, the satellites, which will be tied back into the Jansayo development will extend the field life uh, out until 2048 or beyond Th these are huge fields that have got a long field life ahead of them in terms of the existing lng terminals well there are several 
But uh, Chevron's Wheatstone and, and, and the offshore Gorgon uh, gas plant on Barrow Island, they're pretty much um, at capacity and, and there really isn't uh, much much opportunity to, to expand those. So the idea is that uh, that this borough pub here is going to see a development of the the Pluto, the Caratha and um, various other terminals onshore. So building up a major piece of, of, of infrastructure and it'll be uh, billions of dollars of investment. So um, it's going to be linked um, by Woodside and uh, expanded in order to take uh, Scarborough with T's uh, strategically located to actually to bring on any other stranded gas in the region. Now um, floating LNG um, has been considered but uh, to date the only floating LNG in Australia is Shell's Prelude which Today's had a little bit of a troubled history, um, whereas uh, up the road in Malaysia, uh, Petronas uh, really been more successful with their two um, floating LNG vessels, which we cover in our um, on our Trove Global LNG database. Now we've seen this uh, this section here. Success at Sasanov could spur development of this entire hub region. Um, and this is the rig that's uh, drilling the well. It's Valaris's MS1 semi-sub. It's one of two wells that uh, have been looked forward to in 2022. The uh, offshore engineer reported recently that the Kanga 1 well has uh, sputtered. Um, so just to have a look, here's Kanga just up to the uh, northeast of the uh, North Rankin gas hub in WA. 412p. Now it looked like the prospect here at top of the genre uh, formation on a depth map. It looks like a, a big horse here with, with a sort of culmination and up to about 170 million barrels of prospective resource in the most likely case. Uh, with quite a range on either side. Well, we now know that, unfortunately, the well results for this were were announced in May. Uh, there was no commercial hydrocarbons found, so the well has been plugged and or is being plugged and abandoned. The impact, well, for partner Finder Energy, uh, the shares plunged and losing about 70% of their value on the news of this uh, dry hole. And that's despite the fact that Finder Energy uh, had little financial exposure to the well costs. But there's the rig, the uh, Ocean Apex, uh, Diamond Offshore's rig, that drilled the well. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, we'll be bringing more updates, particularly as uh, Sassanoff gets down to the business end of the well. And... Uh, Please look back at other videos that will be coming out shortly. Thank you.